So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to expand universal serial bus controllers. You want to update the drivers for everything that says USB root hub or generic USB hub. So in my case, I've got USB root hub. You want to right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on browse computer for drivers. And then click on every pick from a list. And then you want to install the one that comes up. Click on next and install it. You want to repeat that for everything that comes up and says USB root hub or USB generic hub. Update all of them. And now for the second step, you want to head over to search and type in file explorer. Click on it. And now once you're on this, on the left hand side you want to scroll down and then click on this PC. And then you want to find a drive where you have Windows installed on. So for me it's my C drive and I have the Windows logo right here, so I know this is the correct one. So you want to right click on it and then click on properties and then click on tools. And then under error checking, you want to click on check. And then click on scan drive. This may take a while, but just let it load. If any errors come up, it will tell you how to fix it. And now for the third step, you want to head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to expand display adapters. And then you want to find your graphics card. You want to right click on it and then click on update driver. And then click on search automatically for drivers. Make sure they have the best drivers for your device installed. And now for the last step, you want to expand universal serial bus controllers again. And then you want to double click on everything that comes up. And you want to look for a power management tab. You might not have it on some of them. So in my case, I don't have it on this one. So I'm going to go to the next one. On this one, I do have it. So I'm going to click on power management. And then you want to untick this. Allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. You want to untick this and then click on OK. You want to repeat that for all of them. Again, you're not going to be getting the power management tab on all of them. But you want to see on the ones that you do have. You just want to untick that and then click on OK. And now once you complete all these steps, you just want to restart your computer. And then the problem should be fixed.